back to Flipper Flicks. I'm Sam, and our show has something very special for you today. Normally, we review movies of all shapes and sizes, and guess what? We're doing that today on the bonus episode! Bonus episode! Bonus! <laughs> this one is an indie spotlight, and we'll get into that here in a second. So, my name is... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's Sam. <laughs> I thought I was next. You can go now. You, you can go. Me. I did. Didn't I? You you did. I did. All right, Tim, you go. What's your name, I'm sir? I'm Tim. Oh. Go. Oh, hi, I'm Adam, and oh, we God. review. We're reviewing. Uh, before the dawn. Before the dawn. We're and reviewing this because it came across our Instagram feed. Yes. It had super high ratings on the line, um, and we hadn't done an indie film yet, so we were like. Let's check it out. It flew across our feed. We're like, why the heck not? With high ratings, we got to check it out. And with indie films, you don't really find them as easily like on Netflix and Amazon Prime, like our standard streaming services. So we're like, you know what? Let's do a bonus episode for indie films. And we're going to try and continue doing this throughout the time for everybody. Yep. So we watched this one on Amazon Prime. But it's also free on Tubi. Super free. Don't have to pay anything for uh, it. I don't know if Tubi's a good platform, but... It might be like Crackle. Nobody knows. Yeah, so if anybody Somebody uses knows, it, but... let us know on Instagram or Twitter. Yeah, at Flipperflix. Mm -hmm. But the synopsis of this story is a high school teacher looking for a change decides to move to a new town for a fresh start. She falls for one of her students, but this relationship brings more complications than expected. Shocker. Shocker. <laughs> Falling in love with the student Shocker. brings in complications. Who'd have thought? Never. <laughs> All right, so, Tim, Tim, we were talking about the ratings. How how well did you uh, think it would have done? <laughs> All right. You know, given the, the synopsis, I just said it didn't do too well. But I'm wrong. So, <laughs> apparently, 95% of the audience on Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> liked it. Liked it. <laughs> IMDb got a 5.9 out of 10, which, again, to me is very high. <laughs> and Google was a 94%. Knowing that, then you, f yep. <laughs> then, then you find out that it was nominated for 19 awards. Not, nothing like Razzie's, like actual indie movie awards, and won seven of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will say, when was the last time you watched a true indie film? I'm not talking about, like, Wes Anderson, because that's... That's not an indie movie. It's like blockbuster. It's like hipster. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, still pretty popular and not far out there. For me, I don't know. It's been a while. I feel like I watch them randomly without really. I mean, I, I just like finding them and watching them. I don't. I can't like name one. I don't specifically that I would know. But if one was named and I watched it, I'd be like, oh yeah, I watched that. But I don't know for sure, honestly. I would say the same thing. Like. I don't know if this is one, but, like, the invitation on Netflix that we watched, remember? Like, I don't know. That might have been one. I think that went to theaters. Okay. I don't know. See, so, I don't know. I I guess the difference is that I don't really pay attention, right? Like, if it's on the streaming platform and you mm -hmm. land on it, if I hadn't seen it go to theater, I wouldn't be like, oh, this is for sure an indie. Or, yeah. oh, this isn't right. an indie. Like, I just, just don't pay attention, I guess. Right. And, like, yeah, I guess... Man Who Killed Don Quixote is not an indie film. Like, Terry Gillum is a big director. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know much of his other work, but I do know that he is well known. I think it's easier for indie films to slide under the radar with yeah. streaming platforms. Now. Right, yeah. This is on a couple of them. It's also, you can also rent it on YouTube or Google Play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amazon Prime. Look it up if you want to after the show. Mm -hmm. Or spoilers. Spoiler alert if you want to stop now and view the film. Before listening to us, I'd recommend doing that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where do we want to get started? The very end. The very end. We're, the we're very going backwards end. again? I don't want to go, <laughs> no, backwards, don't go backwards, backwards I just mean we're done. <laughs> no. Oh, man. All right, all right. So. Shortest episode ever. Boom. <laughs> Bonus. Oh, so where do, I, where do I want to start? Hmm. Let's start with the quotes. The quotes. I only have Ooh. one quote. In this All right. Movie. Well, she... I do too. I do too. <laughs> Let's see what's the same one. The same one. <laughs> I don't know, but it is. You're wasting God's money. Ooh, that's yeah. Good. So at the very beginning, <laughs> I did not have that one. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. So at the very beginning, they're talking about how J Jason, Jared's his real name, mm -hmm. Jason was going to this prep like college. 
college prep. Catholics, like, private school. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you're not even spending the money. Like, he's failing out and whatnot. It's like, it's not even your money. The mom was just like, well, you're wasting God's money. And I just started rolling. I mean, he kind of is. Technically speaking, but, like, I don't know if. I don't know. I'm not going to get into the religious aspect of it. Well, the church paid for the church's to go there. money. Yeah. I would say yeah, he's yeah, wasting yeah. the okay, church's, okay, not okay, okay, God's yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm going to semantics, start, split some hairs here. <laughs> oh, no, but it's it's one. it's a more fun line to say. Yeah. You're sure. wasting God's money, then you're wasting the priest's money. I'm just gonna start chucking that around, like when people throw out their Chick Fil A, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> "You're wasting God's money." You're wasting God's food, food in that respect. Chick Fil A specifically. Yeah, so. yeah, Chick Fil A mm-hmm. would work for that too. I know that's why I said it. She does what she said. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, then, what's your favorite quote, Sam? Okay, I have a couple that I liked. Wow. Um, All right. Let me start with the first one. Because it comes with a question after it. After she goes on the date with Andrew, the gym teacher, her mom goes, <laughs> he has a stable job, and he's a PE teacher, so he must be in shape. <laughs> has anyone had an in-shape PE teacher? Because I have not. Uh, I did. Okay. I would, oh, shoot. Yeah, the cross-country coach. Both of mine were, actually. Our, one of our, was he the cross-country coach? I don't know. We went to the same high school, so we probably are think, th- thinking of the same dude. <laughs> Okay, well, you guys did. I never did. But anywho, I just thought that was a funny I would say that typically, like, I don't, wouldn't picture an in-shape coach. I mean, PE teacher. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I have two that I remember, and they were both in decent shape from what I recall. But the one was junior high, and the second one was high school, which we would have had the same ones. Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) because you and I went to the same high school. So are we thinking the one that lived in our neighborhood? We had one live in our neighborhood. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, Tim and I were neighbors, too. <laughs> yeah. So, fun little and I bonus facts. to <laughs> our PE teacher. Was it the runner? I had a son that was my age. He wasn't a runner, I don't believe. Okay. I'm thinking of a different one then. Okay. I can't remember yeah, the junior high I teachers. I don't know why. That was too long. Purged the junior it. high one was a girl. <laughs> I think I remember. She's the her. one that was there when I broke my finger, and she was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> I remember you breaking your nose? I don't remember you breaking your finger. Oh yeah, I caught. We were playing kickball, and I caught the ball between my fingers. Oh, I did, I did that playing soccer back when I was in like <laughs> fifth grade. Ball went right between my yeah. ring finger and my pinky oh. finger. Pinky finger was shooting out a little far left, and the yeah, the, yeah, the high yeah. school soccer coach. So <laughs> Pretty much. The high school soccer coach was like, "It's just sprained." My mom's like. <laughs> I'm taking you to get that checked. I also like that you're giving me a visual. There's a visual that you cannot see. <laughs> but yeah, now my finger's all messed up. It's actually slightly yeah. shorter. Ah, oh, it's on the same hand where you. Yeah, are my angled. I yeah, I have two broken fingers you have a on the same hand. hand. <laughs> Left hand is dead. <laughs> right hand is fine. Oh, this is your yeah. beauty hand. My 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 pinky went down like the side of my hand. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Okay, no more. No okay. More. Okay, oh, so no. so what's your other quotes, Sam? Back to the story. Oh, I'm sorry that I brought well, hold this on. up. Before you do that one. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to say this was the only natural and okay feeling scene or whatever in the movie that I felt. But anyway, continue. Their first date yeah. felt like normal. Yeah, kind of chill. And as for the rest of the movie, it was awkward <laughs> as yep. fuck. But anyway, continue. Okay, so the next one that I have was, so they were back at the school, and this was after, I believe, like, the first date, and Shannon, the other teacher, was trying to, like, Fucking Shannon. Yeah, like, assert her dominance (laughs) over him. And anyway, I think she had said something about, just like a snide comment about Jason and Lila, and Andrew goes, why... Are you such a bitch? And I just wanted to be like, yeah, Shannon, why are you such a bitch? Like, that's how I felt at this point in the movie. She was the worst. (laughs) And that's saying something. So I'm kind of conflicted. And then I'll let Tim get into his quote. Because a lot of the parts of this movie that I liked were Andrew pre Pre Pre-scene? Yeah, pre-rapey scene. And so now I kind of feel like he, like, soured his character. Like, a lot of what... 
I thought was funny, like, after their first date when he, like, puts her in the car and he's, like, oh, talking yeah. to himself, being, like... Just mumbling under his breath. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, no, it was, was great. great. Let's like, try it I again. was ready to be like, this guy could have carried the movie. Yeah. And then his character did a 180. Yeah. Like, yeah. 180 with some boost and just shooting down. Yeah, and yeah. so... His stocks, stonks went right down. Yeah, I just still have mixed feelings because I did really like yeah. him until a certain I, point. So, that, let's just say yep. there's... Agreed. Pre incident mm-hmm. to first named Andrew Matthews, mm-hmm. which by the way, I love it when people have two first names, it always yeah, makes me laugh. Funny. Can't trust them, can't trust them <laughs> clearly. <laughs> but yeah, he just had some great lines, and then I was like, Budget Tim Tebow's up there on the TV. Oh, yeah, he looks like a he budget does. Tim Tebow. That was good, who would actually be very in shape mm-hmm. and could, yeah. So, All right, so what is yours, Tim? Yeah, what was yours, Tim? When the mom breaks it to the dad that the <laughs> two of them are like together, and she's yelling, and he's like not that upset about it, but she's go. She says he's diddling his teacher. <laughs> diddling his teacher. Yeah. Classic. I was like what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, that part made me laugh. Yeah. So, like, oh well, my gosh. Have you? That's a good one. You stopped watching South Park a while ago, but there's an episode where Ike is banging the kindergarten teacher. <laughs> Nice. And they take it to the cops, and no, Kyle takes it to the cops, and all the cops are just like, the new teacher, like just describing her. Oh, the beautiful one, mm-hmm. nice, mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. That's oh, all they say, because they get like all in a bus because they think, yeah. South Park is South Park, though. But I did get like a lot of like during that scene that you're talking about. I definitely felt that vibe from that episode. Yeah, because yeah. the dad was just like. Whatever. So, he's almost an adult. <laughs> yeah. Which... yeah. Well, and also on that situation, that right there, that conversation struck a chord with me because he brought up a really good point that what I would have brought up myself. He, so he says that his son is almost an adult or whatever, mm-hmm. and it's whatever he's at that age where he can choose, basically, right? Mm-hmm. But then the mom flips it and says, "What if that your daughter?" And he said, "Well, that's different." Yeah. Like. Okay, the the world would be on fire if the two sexes were switched. And, you know, but, like, I'm just, I'm not going to get into it. I'm just saying they brought it up themselves. So kudos for that. But I just think, I, it's just like, ugh, the whole situation is. Yeah, crazy. so at first I was like, I thought they were referring to, like, her being the, because she was still only, like, 13. Yeah, she was younger. Right. And I was like, I was trying to figure out, I think you, what you're saying is right, like, it's just gender well, reversal. Well, mom says, well, if he was his age. Okay, okay. I must have missed that one line. Because <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, she yeah, says she's something 13. along the lines, well, if he was his age, yeah. Which we had a discussion pre recording of this. I'm trying to figure it out, figure out what Jason's age was because Tim thought he was 15. Sam's like, he's over 18. And I was like, I think he's 17. I didn't think he was over 18, but I okay. thought he was at least 18. 18, 18. Coming close to it, or yeah. 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 I only thought he was Which would seventeen. Make it a little better. Yeah, that's. I guess that's, that's why I, I wasn't as grossed out as Tim right. was when we first got on the call because I was like, I mean, he's like eighteen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was about to graduate high school, which doesn't mean he's automatically eighteen. No, because like I graduated when I was seventeen. I just, right. I don't remember where I heard fifteen at though. Yeah, I Tim decided he was I fifteen. <laughs> I don't and know. That, that part was, was like, it, what the literal fuck? <laughs> so I, I want to jump back to the mom talking to Lila. Okay, yeah. Dude, Okay. I, I feel for Lila in this respect. Because she's like, well, I want grandkids. Did she say that? Yes. Oh, yeah, lady, this does, is not yeah. the time for that shit. I know, because... Yeah, she literally just got out of a, a relationship that was awful. Was, was abusive. Yeah. Yeah, and now you're asking her, like, oh, yeah, well, hurry up, get into another one so I can have grandkids. Yep. Like, what? <laughs> yep, and I just think it's always so funny because, like, people get, like, once they get married, it's always, like, so when you get grandkids? I'm like, come right. on. So how old do you think Lila was? Like, I obviously, she's a kid. I want to say she's, adult, like, 28. But, like, do you think she was? No. She was married, right? They, they made a point to say she was younger. Okay. Well, what do we consider younger for a teacher? Like 23, 24. So she's like fresh out of college? Fresh out of college. Because she yeah, already taught for a so. couple years. So I would say max 25, actually. Okay. Yeah. Or actually They a made a point 25. to say that she was a young teacher, right? Yeah. Like a younger teacher. Yeah. Trying to make it better, I'm assuming. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, yeah, because seven years is really not as bad. Seven, eight years is not as bad as 14, 20 years. Yeah, that's right. true. Well, yeah, she obviously wasn't that old, but I was just wondering, <laughs> like, I mean, not that it makes it better or worse. I was just curious what you guys thought. I mean, it, it's not the it's not the age gap that's the problem. Yeah. It's the age range. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The exactly. number, the not, difference is not the problem. It's, no. <laughs> it's it's the oh. differences of what the starting values are. Yes. Exactly. Right. Okay. If we're talking forty-five like, and then thirty-seven, like move them up, move them up to college. So say okay. she's a professor in college, and it's like I'd be like, eh, it's you know. Yeah, whatever. I can see a mom getting mad you at got that. A, you got a, you know, you got an older fling thing. That's fine. Whatever. That's your thing. Yeah, but I feel but like they tackle. You bring them. them down to like high school, and then it's really freaking weird. <laughs> I mean, it definitely is weird, but I feel like they have college professor romance movies all the time right so like i think uh, the one thing i did like about this movie was it wasn't super predictable in the sense like she clearly should have got arrested and she didn't um (laughs) or like they totally could have skipped town together but they didn't so i kind of like that it was a little bit less of the standard route yeah not that Mm -hmm. that makes it any better just that it's a thing right and yeah i don't know i'm What's going to happen to him afterwards? A lot yeah. of people were asking about sequels. Yeah. And there was, I don't think there was any in production yet. Yeah, well, maybe. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? <laughs> well, I will say uh, the other plus for this movie that I liked was that it gave me an Anna vibe and the thought that I would write something down to like nail it on, right? Like, she was wearing the necklace earlier in her movie. Why is she wearing it now? Yeah, she got really and then- fired up about that. I want to point out there was an intense pausing during the scene when she got the little necklace by Sam. Yeah. Continue. And then they explained it. Or like, he shows up at her house with his broken face. And I'm like, now how the hell does he know where she lives? And then she like right. she yeah. asks it later in the film. So like they address. Well, they still the plot never holes. give the. Ex- they do. No, which I, I have my ways. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but then she does a bat and eye of the fact that he's like, I have my ways or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. Well, you know, he's just creepy. Well, it's fine. He, she yeah. did have her name as her name, like Lila Kid, That's not Kidney. True. Kindy, I get, Kindy. get a little dyslexic there and say it wrong a lot. But she had her full name like in her like Facebook profile, yeah. which I will say most of the teachers that I graduated like school from mm-hmm. with, they all changed it the, to like their middle name so that their students can't find them. Yeah we, yeah, we had a young teacher and she didn't have her name so we couldn't find her on Facebook. Yeah. Like, it's a thing. So, it's a smart thing. <laughs> yeah. Don't make your social media be found by the students at school. That's a... Children. Yeah. It's well, a bad idea. Let me rephrase that. Children. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I didn't have to rephrase it because they're in high school and they're children. <laughs> well, there could be adults in high school if they fail a year. That's true. True. How do we know? Semantics. He was a transfer I, student. I just hope I'm wrong on his age. Maybe, he, yeah, maybe he was older because he transferred too. No, I'm pretty sure he's 17, guys. I know, I know, I know, but I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, he's still in the age range of high school, so. Uh... Oh, so, so at the beginning, before they explain anything, I, I want to say his brother's name is Michael. It's been a couple days since we yeah, watched. Yeah, I think it. it was Michael. Did you think he had yeah. died? Yeah, for sure. Totally they thought he died. Wouldn't talk about it. Like I did, and I didn't, because they made it. They implied it too much to me. To make it seem like he has actually died. Okay. Because they showed like know. the barbed wire at the beginning. It felt too forced of a thought. Yeah. Like, I think it was implied that he was gone, like, dead, but because they wanted you to think that so that it was a shocker that he's just, like, gone in prison. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't think he was dead fully. I just, <laughs> he was only half dead. He's all, he's a zombie <laughs> now in the basement. Twist. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was dead strictly because... Jason walks into his home after school, like when he's running late mm-hmm. the first day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm guessing the little sister had it was her backpack. There was a Jack Skellington backpack that said "R.I.P." Yeah. on it. Oh, and then yeah. when they pan to the couch, there's a skull and then a Grim Reaper oh. hanging on the wall. And I'm yeah. like, 
Now those are some death so- like uh, that's like Halloween. like I said it was very forced that they they were it's implying that he was dead. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, it was. I don't know. <laughs> it could have been. A, it could have been because at one point he's got a bruised and beaten face, and then the next day it's healed. So yeah, makeup washes off easily, man. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know it wasn't Halloween, people? Come on. <laughs> because it said it started in the second semester of the year. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay. She I transferred mid. She transferred mid year. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it's very abnormal for that to happen. Yeah. Also, all of her backgrounds for an English teacher, she had a graph mm-hmm. from a math class that was never once erased. <laughs> and it bothered me. Well, I think the first <laughs> the first thing that I saw written on the board was like Charles Dickens. And there was like something stupid right next to it. And I was like, classic, like trying to just like throw a bone to the English teacher. Yeah. Like, we don't know what to put. Let's just put Charles Dickens up there. I mean, yeah. it's Dickens. What do you expect? Yeah. And then, so she's like standing up, speaking of, so in the classroom, she's like standing up there and she sees Jason run off from her class. Mm-hmm. And I'm just laughing to myself because before that, there was the other student that literally has no name. He um, was like, oh, you know how to get by all the security guards. And I wrote down, sure, you can escape all the security guards, but not the all-seeing eye of Miss Kidney. Kidney. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, she can see everything. Uh, well, she was very interested in it. I know. Clearly. Yeah, clearly. Just a bit, just a bit. <laughs> uh, well, shoot. one of the parts that frustrated me was when they had, like, their day – in the woods at the beach, I don't the know picnic? what they were doing. Yeah, the picnic, picnic in day. the park. Okay, well, it, I don't know. It was like a big clearing. I don't. Know. Anywho, <laughs> like a park. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He's like, "Let me take a picture," and she's like, "No." And then she Bye. lets him. Yeah, it was like not even a fight. But then, like, she lets him take selfies, and I'm like, "Girl, don't you know that's how yeah. you get caught?" Like, come on. Come well, on. Well, this was a common thing with her. She would say no. And then immediately, like, they would just keep pushing and she would let it happen. Oh. This was a, like, throughout the film, I noted it because it was like, at first she said no to the one thing and then it happened. And then she said no to the next thing and it happened. And then, I don't know. She just kept saying, not here, not this, don't do that. And then it would. Then it gets a little rapey, yeah. Yeah. Like, is it just me or did both the guys in the film, even especially the one she liked, come off a little strong? Yeah. yeah, you mean like when he's like pushing her thighs in the middle of the classroom? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was or, a little. You know, in the bar, he just jumps her. Yeah. Like... Yeah, that's true. So like at like, one point, uh... I wrote, "Dude is a bit rapey" on my paper, and yeah. I was and I was rereading yeah. my notes, and I was like, "I think that's about Jason, not Andrew, because Andrew was not a bit; he was full on." Yeah, he wasn't a bit because it was completely unexpected, and it was a complete character change. Twist. But, you know, I mean, you never know. Guy just like broke mentally. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, did you guys notice that he was there? He was there the what, night the when they did the parent-teacher conferences, and she, fa- the mom, found out and threw a big fit, rightfully so. Yes. And then Shannon. Shannon like Sh- does her little Shannon. bitchy line. Yeah. So the PE mm-hmm. teacher is there for um, parent-teacher night. I'm just wondering if there are any parents <laughs> that go meet the PE teacher. <laughs> That's usually, a great question. They have, like, another thing they teach, right? Usually. Uh, mine didn't. None of mine did. I feel like... Coaches, yes. Yeah. PE teachers, mm, that's their job. They teach PE. There's a chance. It's but not, there is a chance, yeah. I'm not... I'm just saying... I always thought, because... Like, I'm trying to remember. I thought I had a PE teacher once that taught PE and health. Oh! Yeah, oh, we I had did one. Too. That must have been the combo. Because I had one that did that. Yeah. Now that that was know. in junior high, though. Yeah, yeah, it was. I had one that was like full time PE Stretching and my one brain that did other here. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> gotta yeah. gotta think back about fifteen, eighteen years. I don't know how. Well, we are talking about a... eighteen. No, I'm not that young. <laughs> Old. We were talking about a school flick. So yeah. come on, you should have had these muscles mm-hmm. ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when that, I'm gonna go back to the date scenes. I'm going back to the bar because there's only one bar in this town in (laughs) what I believe is California. So there's that. When Jason goes and makes out with her and he's like, oh, um, Matthews, it's like, hey, I got you a beer. Mm -hmm. Anybody else notice that he got himself the big beer and her the small beer? No. 
<laughs> I was just laughing because I thought they were the same. No, nah, she had a pint and he had a he had twenty ounces. More than a pint. <laughs> More than a pint. <laughs> he had yeah. He just had the larger beverage. Beverage. Well, you know, after her first date extravaganza. Yeah. Could you blame she got him? Lit. Yeah. Yeah. God, I just hate where his character went, and and I'm gonna bring it up. I mean, that situation with him, and you know, halfway or three fourths of the way through the movie, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Where his character does the 180, it just uh, I forgot my lo- I forgot my thought. Okay, okay, so <laughs> it ruined him. It ruined him. It, <laughs> it was just like him. you hate that type of twist. Nope, I completely lost my thought. No! Oh no! <laughs> let, me, let me look at my notes again. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> okay. With something else. I'll read my notes. <laughs> okay. I was uh, I had a question. Do you think that Jason was on drugs at all? Because he acted like yeah, a, probably in the beginning. He, yeah. he acted kind of completely different. I was thinking specifically of the scene when he like the just the leg separating thing, the mm-hmm. thigh separating thing in the um, yeah the classroom. I was like, he just is acting completely differently. Yeah, because he was like checked out um, yeah. in the first scene that we see him in. Yeah, yeah. And then he's just like, "Hey, how are you doing?" And I'm like, "Whoa, coming on strong here, bud." I mean, he did see her dance yeah. and drunk, and maybe that humanized her more for him. Maybe. Maybe he's on drugs. He definitely piddles him. I think he was just a little uh, in the season. What, what was the line from the guy in uh, I'm let him Mortal keep Engines? Self-pollinating? Yes. Yeah, he was in the pollinating mood. <laughs> he, was a, he wanted to pollinate. Is that what he you're trying to, to say? Pollinate. Yeah. Okay, I, I remember my thoughts. Oh, sweet. <laughs> So I think that scene or that situation felt very forced within uh, the movie itself just to try and get to the end plot point of them leaving and her or her leaving and not taking him with her. I, and I think that's why it's such a shocker of a 180 for the character is because this is this is a movie that um, is trying to get you to like and feel sorry for them. at yeah. the end, But there was no way for her to do a split without something happening. And so they used something that's pretty disturbing. And, and even in other movies, there are shows that I like. These sort of situations happen, but they don't feel as gross as this one did. Yeah. Or like out of place or just put in there just to be in there as like a shocker almost. Yeah. I don't know. It, it just really bothered me. For some reason, that's why I got kind of like really annoyed at the movie <laughs> in general. Is that that whole situation, it's like they use something that's pretty... Uh, I don't know, atrocious, gross, whatever you want to use, and uh, it just bothered me a lot. That is a good point, because I feel like a lot of movies and shows will have that, and they won't make it repulsive, like you're saying. And even, like, right. this relationship in the movie, like, between her and Jason, was also kind of, like, more it felt more like gross. Like I feel like Hollywood has a tendency of like romanticizing these types of things. And I actually kind of liked that they kept these kind of like with an icky feeling with you because like, why the hell are we romanticizing like people cheating on each other or like raping? Like there's a rape in like every movie these days. It seems like it does seem that way. And so it's just like, it's kind of nice that they kept this like serious and with the icky tone. Yeah. And like even, I'll say, like, Game of Thrones, like, mm-hmm. there was one that got a lot of backlash, one specific scene, whereas it happened a couple times in the mo- in the show, yeah. but there's one specifically that was a backlash on, and I was like, well, where's, I've never heard of this movie, where's the backlash on this movie, like, you know. That's true, yeah. And it was a lot less, I don't know, it was more heavy-handed in this one, I guess, okay. but, mm-hmm. and less just, woo, it happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, on a lighter note, yeah, are there only yeah. three teachers in this high school? Yes, clearly. Right? <laughs> I'm not. I, I felt like the whole school and the scenery and everything just felt empty. Like, it didn't feel natural. I well, was, you did see the principal one time. You, two or three times you one see time. the principal. You see, <laughs> yeah. She brings her in. Where are the rest of the students? They're you only see the people in the, in the English class and then the PE teacher. Yeah. This kind of annoyed me. The PE teacher is, like, standing there talking to a student, right? Yeah. And, like, he's immediately skeptical of Lila and Jason. And then he, like, grabs her hand. So, like, I get it. Jason grabs her hand. But before that, he was already, like, giving them dirty looks. I'm like, 
bro, you're sitting there talking to a girl student. Like, why are you so... Right. Why are you throwing shade? Probably because of what... (laughs) The Shannon, Shannon said, said, "Yeah, she planted the seed. Yeah, she, yeah, she wanted him I still back. Still thought that was a double standard. What? He didn't just oh, want to treat her. He didn't just want to trust her. Oh yeah. And then the handhold. Then you can get nuclear. But he was like nuclear before mm-hmm. he even saw that. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. A boy? <laughs> How <laughs> dare? Boy? <laughs> a boy? I'm a man. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't joke about that. That was gross. <laughs> it was very gross." And then, and then she had uh, the security camera directly pointing in her window. Okay, I don't think it was I don't directly. I how she knew that it would capture anything in her room. Or I like to believe that maybe, was a bluff. Maybe she's seen it, but yeah, yeah, probably. What's odd about that is that that it presumably caught the leg moment, and she's not worried about that. Yeah, right? No, not at all. <laughs> she's already erased those tapes. Yeah, <laughs> she found yeah. them erased. That's how she knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she went through and d- deleted all other Instances. information. Mm. Yeah. Now she's a super spy now. What did you guys think of her yeah. house and how she had no people in her win- in her um front door? Oh, that annoyed the shit out of me. How they just like left the door open all the time and like yeah nobody noticed or she didn't say like hi to a neighbor. But again, yeah. with the predictability. Of, like, most of these films that have these relationships, there's a catalyst that, like, catches them. Like, a neighbor. Yeah, or a like, nosy neighbor. Yeah, and, or the mom. The mom was normal. But, like, nosy they neighbor could have was been, the teacher. yeah, they could have been caught way before this. And totally. It, it annoyed me, I guess, that they weren't, but kudos to that for no predictability. I don't know how I feel about it, clearly. <laughs> But I will say, like, the lack of, like, neighbors, the lack of teachers, it is an indie film, so it's not like That's they have true. infinite cash to just bring right. people. Yeah, they can't, like, be paying them much extra. Yeah. So that... And... Well, they could have at least closed the door! <laughs> now, I just thought it was weird. You moved to a town after you were in an abusive relationship and don't have a people? Yeah. Yeah, well, she it looks like she had, like, some sort of nest program, like, the doorbell version of it. Yeah. But it never worked. She, Jer- um, Jason would just always come knocking on the door. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't use it at all. Who is it? Right. People's help with the who is it. You don't actually have to ask. Yeah. You look through the hole. Well, and her ex had a restraining <laughs> order. And she was, like, not even worried that he's going to come. Exactly. And through the door when it's unlocked and open all the time. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got to have a people if you're concerned about, like, being under an attack. I don't know that she was concerned, though, because I thought that her mom brought it up once and was like... She's like, oh, it's whatever. Oh, it wasn't him. I'm not worried about him or whatever, but I don't know. It'd be kind of yeah. hard to not be worried. But right? right? I don't know. They should have shut the door. <laughs> they should have shut the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they should have shut the door. Yeah. The only time I've seen doors that open are in the college dorms, and everybody's just trying to meet right. everybody at that point in time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's different. <laughs> It's a, yeah, it's a lot different. Hang out with everybody. No, in reality, she's just trying to meet her nosy neighbors that didn't exist. Boom. She was trying to get caught. Nobody would rise to the occasion. <laughs> right? Everybody's like, oh, yeah. This is normal. This happens all the time in this town. Close your door. Yeah. Hi. Also, they drove around town. Yeah. <laughs> what? I know she told him to get down, but I was like, that whole what montage that where they were like driving around town. Talk I was about like, no. Montage. No. Get down, and then he just shoved his face down in her crotch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's a teenager. I will say he's a teenager, the character, so that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. I got the vibes that this was a small town, was it not? I have no idea. It's in There's only one bar. No idea. (laughs) One bar slash restaurant. That they all go to. Yeah, so you would think... All the teachers and all the students all hang out in the same bar. Again, you would think there would be nosy neighbors that would be watching her on the road, but... Right. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting indeed. indeed. <laughs> what did you uh what did you think of the um the crooked not friends? His boss. The gang. The gang. Oh my god. The supposed gang. I thought they were very diverse. They were very diverse. I was laughing about that myself. <laughs> I was like, oh that's interesting. <laughs> and one Hispanic, one guy that was black, and then what was the main lead dude? Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not really sure, but they were diverse, so kudos for their hiring process yeah. or whatever. I like the Hispanic guy. It was funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to critique the acting of the gang, but I don't feel like that's fair since this is an indie film. So. Yes. I... All that and the acting in general was... Uh... 
It was. Yep. So I will say, though, that a lot of the times I thought, like, the music was, like, not not the music itself. Like, the background music. Like the, background, the score. The score. That's what I was looking for. It was terrible? Yeah. Oh, I thought it fit a lot of the scenes. I can't. I don't remember it. So. Now, I will say some of the sound <laughs> editing was a little off, but it's an indie film. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of editing that was off in this, but... <laughs> it was a free movie, Tim. I, I was... It was a free movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, Tim, I don't know what I was going to say. Yeah, were you going to say something, Tim, before I really interrupted you? <laughs> yeah, did you... Did... Oh, I was just going to say, like, some of the music made sense, and other times I was just like, I literally had a thought of, this is odd. Why is this yeah, music... Yeah, right there was, like, now? a really weird country song in the yes. rain. That one was like, yeah. no. <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> now, if there were, like... With the, the fake uh, cold moment. Yeah. yeah I laughed she was so cold. hard at that scene. Very... Oh, God. So yeah. I also <laughs> wanted to know... That it doesn't rain often, in, like in California. No, no, or at all, really. What's that fake rain? Yeah, it looked like it. No, I'm oh, just saying. Yes, it was. It's like, what do you think? They're like, it's raining. We gotta get to the get her oil. outside. No, that was a hundred percent fake rain. Like, or or man-made like situation. There was no nature involved with that. So, do you think they had a rain guy? Like Game of Thrones had a snow guy? Probably. I think they had a guy with a hose. <laughs> Indie films. Yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get into the cast. I'll be, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and guess that you've never seen them in anything, but I'm going to read them anyways. Okay. Put you through it's this. Because thing. <laughs> <clears throat> Lila Kindy. Kindy. You are never going to get that right. <laughs> We're sorry. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> sorry. Elena de Freitas. You think it's Freitas or Freitas? E.I. Sam's giving I'm me a look qual- of I'm not qualified. I'm All right. Freitas. Freitas. the English teacher. Freitas. She's an Aussie, though. <laughs> Jason Walker I, I was played by Jared Scott. I'm not sure. So Jared Scott, another guy with two first names. Ah, but in real life. But I-R-L. Yes. And then Andrew Matthews is Houston Rhines. Love it when people are named after cities. <laughs> Shelly Walker Ke- um, was played by Kelly Hancock. Who's Shelly Walker? The mom. Jason Walker's mom? That, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Shannon. <laughs> I thought Shannon was Shelly Walker. Anyway. No, no, no. Shannon James. No, the first two names. Wow. Two first names. Was played by Carissa Dalton. No, okay. Well, I Andy know. Andy Dalton's wife. Yeah, Andy Dalton's wife. It was not <laughs> it Andy was Dalton's not. wife. Uh, the director was Jay Holbin. And the composer, because I thought some of the music in... Yeah. Like, sounding was good. I thought I'd write down Nami Malum, Malamod. I don't know. I can't pronounce names. I've been pretty clear about that. All a mode. Go ask <laughs> Cillian Murphy how <laughs> to say his name. This is really pronounced Killian. And he's a very large actor, and I can't say his name. And he roasted Adam for that. Clearly. He totally roasted me. But our, our best friend Jake did not. Nah. Because I can say Jill and Hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Tim... Mr. Tim, any final remarks before we ask if you would flip it on? I don't think so. You don't think so? (laughs) All right, Sam, any final remarks? No, I don't have anything. I got nothing either. I touched my my people. That just sounded wrong. Oh, my (laughs) word. Anyways, oh, yeah, I got nothing else. So, Sam, flip it on or off? Well, it's a free movie, and so mm-hmm. I would flip it on because it's free, and you should at least try it, because if not anything else, you've watched an indie film, so there you go. And you can slap that in your friend's faces. Yeah, but if it wasn't free, I'm not sure I would have flipped it on. What about you, Tim? Uh, I mean, you make a good point about it being free and whatnot, but I'm still going to say I don't know where the audience scores come from i don't quite understand it's not my style of film <laughs> so there's there's clearly a target uh and it, it hit that target that's true uh, so if it seems interesting to you flip it on but for me personally no <laughs> what about you for Adam? me i will say that i was trying to think back what was the last romance movie not rom-com romance swept away yeah swept away okay that i willingly <laughs> chose 
I uh, don't... Do you do that? Do we watch romance movies? We're a married couple, and I we don't think... We used to watch them. <laughs> yeah, like, I haven't seen, like, the oh. Nicholas Sparks books. <laughs> All the Nicholas Sparks movies. I can't be honest. I gotta be honest. I don't know of many ones that have come out. Maybe About Time. That was a good one. Yeah, but that was still calm. That still had some comedy in it. Well... You're bringing up a good point. It's been a while since there's been, like, a fully romance film. Yeah. Most movies are now trying to hit the double genre. Yeah. At least just to gain more audience. Or, in the case of this one, it's a romance, but it's also a drama. Like, I would... I think those are the same things. I think a romance is a subgenre of drama. Yes. No. Okay. So, we... Let's talk about, like, the imitation game. Or the theory of everything. Like, those are drama dramas. Right, they're a drama. Right. And then a romance is a subclass of drama. So, every romance is a drama. Okay. But not every drama is a romance. It's like how every square, rectangle, square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is no square. My brain hurts. I don't agree, but continue. <laughs> okay. So, I haven't seen many romances recently, at least. Just romance, romance. It's ever swept away, which was the best one. I still think that had some comedy in it. <laughs> it did. It did. That's true. Well, yeah, everything's got a little no, comedy I know. in it. This movie had a little comedy yeah, in it. Yeah, see? Anyways, it was not a rom-com. No. I'm not a romance movie fan. Not a fan. That's wrong. I do enjoy some of them. So what it's not for me. What was the last romance film you enjoyed? Oh, I liked... What was it? Was it Dear John? Leap Year. Okay. Oh, you liked Sleep Year? That was a rom-com, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> What would you say um, Midnight in Paris is? A rom-com. Yeah, that one's amazing. Uh, Notebook. That's a ro- that's, that's romance. A rom-com. I like that one. Really? I like... Nick Sparks. What's his face, though? Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Ryan Gosling. Everybody likes Ryan Gosling. I like, I like his movies. Just Oh, you know what? No, Drive. That is a romantic movie, sort of. Yeah, I feel like that. it has some thriller aspects in it, but it's been a while. Yeah, it's since an action. I watched it. It's got action in it. Yeah, but it's 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 all romantic for okay. What it is, but <laughs> <laughs> I haven't it's seen got it cars, in a while. Dang it. I know. I was gonna say, well, this so doesn't the have taxi drivers a romance, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. okay. We'll let you. We will let you continue your thoughts. I <laughs> would suggest if it's. You got some free time, and if you're interested in romance movies... Full romances, not rom-coms. Not since rom-coms. we've delved down that hole. Yeah, we, <laughs> don't, we fully submerged ourselves in that hole. I would say turn, flip it on. But for me, it's not necessarily my cup of tea. So I would flip it on. Okay. Yep, yep. So fair. we're about the same, yeah. But mine don't have to go boom, boom, or vroom, vroom. <laughs> Did Tim have to go boom, boom, or vroom, vroom? <laughs> No, I don't know, but... It catches my attention. It does. <laughs> it keeps him there. Car goes across the trailer. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, I have one one last question for you guys for this movie. Yeah. Is this a better love story than Twilight? <laughs> oh. I mean, I think there's actually what I would say love is. Like, there's actually love in it. Mm-hmm. Well, I would suggest that Twilight is just infatuation. So it is. In yes, in my eyes, it's a better love story than Twilight. I <laughs> <laughs> Tim, what would you say? <laughs> Have you watched all the Twilights? Know. I don't know. Because this is good. It was mostly a meme question. <laughs> I, I don't know that I have watched them all. I think I've seen most of them. There are what, five of them? There's, There's a lot. Them. It's a commitment. There's five of them because they broke up Breaking Dawn in the two. Yeah, because that was the hip thing to do. Yeah. yeah. It, I don't know if it's still been done. What's your, Sam, which one for you? Come on, you've read all the books. You've seen all the films. Okay, the books are different than the films. And okay, I read a... those when I was young and vulnerable. You were. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. I'm not answering this. Have question. you read them more or less than your sister? Less. <laughs> My sister has read them like 20 times through. And she was a youngin. Yeah, she's still young. Okay, anywho. Let's say that uh, it's a better love story than the movie. Of Twilight. Twilight. I liked the book. Yeah, because I would say that Edward was in love with her, and she was just infatuated with him. Well, she had a whole love trial little thing going on. Anywho, that's for a different time. Maybe we should rewatch Twilight. Make Tim oh, do it. that baseball <laughs> scene is lit. No. Get some muse going and everything. Watch, like Baby Driver, no. or Drive, or uh, you know, Actually, Bad Max, I seen, or Our Battle. I haven't seen Drive in a long time, so I'd be willing to rewatch that. Drive but it would so have good. to fit the spinner. We don't just pick movies. 
Unless it's in the spotlight. Oh, yeah. It's going to fit yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, it's going to fit. Well, there's no spin on this one. Therefore, uh, so yeah. Thanks for watching our first bonus episode. What? what? Indie Boy, Spotlight. Spotlight? Spotlight. Spotlight. <laughs> it's our indie spotlight. Do you guys want to sing some she shanties? <laughs> spotlight. <laughs> spotlight for Break the Dawn. Oh my gosh. Anywho, thanks for listening. Since there's really nothing to watch. Yeah, and if you guys do decide to watch this movie, since it is free... Yeah, I was trying to say Twitter us, but it's Twitter. not accurate. I Hit us up on I'm that Twitter. old. <laughs> tweet at us. <laughs> or, that Twitter. That yeah. Twitter. Hit us up there. <laughs> or Instagram, because we'd love to discuss it some more. All right, thanks. Goodbye.